ಸರ್ವೋಪನಿಷದೋ ಗಾವೋ ದೋಗ್ಧಾಗೋಪಾಲನಂದನ ಪಾರ್ಥೋವತ್ಸ ಸುಧೀರ್ ಭೋಕ್ತ ದುಗ್ಧ ಗೀತಾಮೃತ ಮಹತ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ನೈನ್ತ್ ಲಕ್ಷರ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಗವದ್ ಗೀತಾ ಲಕ್ಷರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ವರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ಅ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸಿಷನ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ಎಟ್ ದ ಬಿಗಿನಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಕ್ಷರ್ ಸೀರೀಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟಾಕ್ ಅಬೌಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಥೆಲ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಮೀ ಸೌಂಡ್ ವೆರಿ ನೈಸ್ ಯಾಮ್ ಇಮಾಮ್ ಪುಷ್ಪಿತಾಮ್ ವಾಚಮ್ ಯುರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಫ್ಲಾವರಿ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ರೆಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಅಗೇನ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಯುರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಮಥಿಂಗ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಗ್ನಾವಾದ ಇನ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಸೇಸ್ ಯುರ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಫ್ಲಾವರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಹಿ ಕಾಲ್ಸ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಪ್ರಗ್ನಾವಾದ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಹಿ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ದ್ಯಾಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಯುರ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಂಟ್ ರಾಂಗ್ ದೋಸ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ರೈಟ್ ಬಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ರಾಂಗ್ ಪ್ಲೇಸ್ ಆಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಹೆಲ್ಪಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಫೈಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಕೌರವ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಸೈಡ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪಾಂಡವ್ಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ಎಕ್ಸಾಂಪಲ್ ವಿ ನೋ ದಟ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಸೇಯಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೌಂಡ್ ಟು ಮೇಕ್ ಅ ಮಿಸ್ಟೇಕ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಟ್ರೂ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಅ ಜಡ್ಜ್ ಹೂಸ್ ಜಾಬ್ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ ದಟ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದಟ್ ಆಸ್ ಅನ್ ಆರ್ಗ್ಯುಮೆಂಟ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಟೈಮ್ ವೆನ್ ಹಿ ಆರ್ ಶಿ ಇಸ್ ಡಿಸ್ಪೆನ್ಸಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ಜಸ್ಟಿಸ್ ಇಫ್ ದೇ ಮಿಸ್ ಯೂಸ್ ದ ಕರೆಕ್ಟ್ ನಾಲೆಜ್ ದೆನ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಕಾಲ್ ಪ್ರಗ್ನಾವಾದ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಎಟ್ ವಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಕಾನ್ಸ್ಟಂಟ್ಲಿ ವರ್ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಗೋಯಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ದಿಸ್ ಟಾಪಿಕ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಸ್ಪೋಕ್ ಪ್ರೀವಿಯಸ್ಲಿ ಆನ್ ದ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ವರ್ಡ್ ಗೀತಾ ಇಟ್ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ದೀಸ್ ಟೈಪ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅ ಗೀತಾ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ದೇ ಹೆಲ್ಪ್ ಅಸ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಅಪ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಆರ್ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟೀಸ್ ಇನ್ ಲೈಫ್ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಹಿಯರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ವೀಕ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಭಗವಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಮೈಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ನೀಡ್ ಟು ಬಿಕಮ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಾಂಗರ್ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಕೀಪ್ಸ್ ಗಿವಿಂಗ್ ಹಿಮ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಎಂಥೂಸಿಯಾಸಮ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರೆಂಗ್ ವರ್ಡ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಸ್ ಅ ಎನೆಕ್ಡೌಟ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ಬಿನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಬೈ ಒನ್ ಆಫ್ ಅವರ್ ಗುರುಸ್ ದಟ್ ಒನ್ ಟೈಮ್ ದೇರ್ ವಾಸ್ ಅ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಹೂ ಡಿಡ್ ಅ ಸ್ಮಾಲ್ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ಆಸ್ ಅ ಗಿಫ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಡೂಯಿಂಗ್ ದ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ದ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ಹೂ ಹೆಲ್ ದ ರಿಚುವಲ್ ಗೇವ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಅ ಕಾವ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ವಾಸ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ ಹೋಮ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಫೋರ್ ಥೀವ್ಸ್ ಆನ್ ದ ರೋಡ್ ದೇ ಸಾ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದೇ ಥಾಟ್ ವಿ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಟೇಕ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಬಟ್ ವಿ ಡೋಂಟ್ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಹರ್ಟ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಓರ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ ಹೌ ಕೆನ್ ವಿ ಕನ್ವಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಟು ಗಿವ್ ಅಸ್ ದ ಕಾವ್ ಹಿಮ್ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಸೊ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಅ ಡಿಸ್ಕಷನ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಒನ್ ಥೀಫ್ ವೆಂಟ್ ಟು ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಜಸ್ಟ್ ವಾಕಿಂಗ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸ್ ಹಿಮ್ ಹಿ ಸೆಟ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಬ್ರದರ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ವೆರಿ ಬ್ರೇವ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ ದಟ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ದಿಸ್ ಲಾಯನ್ ವಿತ್ ಯು ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಲುಕ್ ಇನ್ ಸೆಟ್ ಐಮ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟೇಕಿಂಗ್ ಅ ಲಾಯನ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅ ಕಾವ್ ಇ ಸೆಟ್ ಆರ್ ಆರ್ ಇಟ್ಸ್ ಅಪ್ ಟು ಯು ವಟ್ ಎವರ್ ಯು ವಾಂಟ್ ಅ ಬಿಲೀವ್ ಬಟ್ ಐ ಸಿ ಅ ಲಾಯನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ದ ಥೀಫ್ ಹಿ ವಾಕ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸ್ಟ್ ಅ ಲಿಟಲ್ ವೈಲ್ ಲೇಟರ್ ದ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಥೀಫ್ ವಾಕ್ ಪ್ಯಾಸ್ ದ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇ ಸೆಟ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಬ್ರಾಹ್ಮಣ್ ಅಮೇಝಿಂಗ್ ಐ ಡಿಡ್ ನೋ ಯು ವರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಬ್ರೇವ್ ದಟ್ ಯು
Krishna Bhagavan knows that this isn't the absolute truth. But it's a step. First, he reminds Arjun that you're a reputable person. You have a reputation to maintain. You're Sambhavit, meaning someone who's well-respected. Now, if you quit in the middle of this task, if you run away from war, that's worse than death. Humiliation is worse than death. That inspires Arjun to get up and to continue to fight. And at this point, this is where Krishna Bhagavan tells Arjun something very important. In the second chapter, in couplets number 39 and 40, Krishna Bhagavan is going to switch topics. Krishna Bhagavan tells Arjun, Eshate bihita sankhe, buddhir yoge tvimam shunu, buddhya yukto yaya partha, karma bandham prahasyasi, nehabi krama na shosti, pratyavayo na vidyate, swalpa mapyasya dharmasya, trayate mahato bhayat. Krishna Bhagavan tells Arjun, Until now, I spoke to you about knowledge, sankhya, atmanishta, understanding how the world is, understanding how you are, your true nature as a soul. And now, listen, Shrunu, listen to me, Parth. Now I'm going to talk to you about the topic of yoga. Yoga is the main topic of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita. And the benefits of learning that yoga, Krishna Bhagavan tells Arjun that when you understand this yoga, then you'll have liberation. Karma bandham prahasyasi. In describing that yoga in the very next couplet in 240, Krishna Bhagavan tells Arjun, there are no negative aspects of this yoga. Pratyavayo na vidyate. There are only positive outcomes of doing this. And even just a little bit, su alpam, a little bit of this, asya, dharmasya, trayate mahato bhayat, a little bit of this dharma. Dharma is used as a synonym for the word yoga here. Bhagavan tells Arjun, having just a little bit of this faith in your life, of this connection in your life, you will be saved from terrible, terrible fear, terrible, terrible misery. Mahato bhayat. Everything that you need saving from can come from this yoga, this dharma. Yoga and dharma, these are used as synonyms. The main topic of the Bhagavad Gita is yoga. In the yoga darshan, in the yoga shastra, the scripture itself, Patanjali describes and defines yoga as yoga's chitta vritti nirodaha. When every part of your being, every faculty, first your physical body, then your breath, then your minds, everything is focused entirely on one purpose. That's when you've achieved yoga. Yoga is the road to God. Now, you've heard different words throughout the Bhagavad Gita, words like karma yoga, gnan yoga, bhakti yoga, dhyan yoga. The common denominator of all of those terms is yoga. The main topic of the Bhagavad Gita is not karma is not bhakti devotion, is not gnan or wisdom. It's not meditation. It's definitely not just hard work or politics or war. The main topic is the denominator amongst all of them, yoga. Yoga is the road from here to heaven. Karma, devotion, wisdom, these are just different cars. You can take any car based on your inclination. If certain people enjoy wisdom over others, if certain people enjoy philosophizing over others, if certain people enjoy service and serving and karma, whatever car you take is fine, as long as the road is right. If you have a very nice car on the wrong road, you'll go to the wrong location. Seven steps of yoga and the very last step ends with samadhi. Samadhi means when you have complete focus on God alone. That is the essence of yoga and that is what the Srimad Bhagavad Gita is taking us to. Yoga. Yog and dharma are used as synonyms in these two shloks, in these two couplets. And they're used like that in various places throughout the Bhagavad Gita. I want to make it clear from the very beginning that there are many different definitions of yoga. And there are many different definitions of dharma. But when it comes down to understanding God, that is what it's mean by this, this yoga in particular. And whenever it comes to a very important aspect of dharma, the most important aspects of dharma, it implies this dharma, yoga, not just varnashram dharma, not just normal day-to-day -day ethics. For example, in the fourth chapter of the Srimad Bhagavad Gita, at the beginning, Krishna Bhagavan tells Arjun, I'm going to tell you about that eternal yoga, the connection that man has with God. And then in that context, he says the famous shloka, yada yada hi dharmasya, klanir bhavati bharata, 
अभ्युत्थानम अधर्म से तद आत्मानम सृजाम्यहम इन द कॉन्टेक्स्ट ऑफ योग कृष्ण भगवान इन द फोर्थ चैप्टर अगेन रिमाइंड्स अर्जुन आई कम टू री एस्टैब्लिश दैट धर्म ऑन अर्थ दैट धर्म व्हिच इज कॉल्ड योग भगवान डिडंट कम ऑन टू अर्थ बिकॉज़ पीपल हैड स्टॉप टेकिंग शावर्स एवरी डे ही केम ऑन टू अर्थ बिकॉज़ पीपल हैड लॉस्ट देयर कनेक्शन टू गॉड एंड दैट्स व्हाई ही कम्स ऑन टू अर्थ सो दिस कनेक्शन योग is also equal to dharma and that is the main topic of the shrimad bhagavad gita in the gita someone who attains yog is called a yogi krishna bhagwan is telling arjun tasmat yogi bhav arjuna he wants him to fight a war he should be telling him tasmat yodha bhav arjuna become a warrior no he's telling him you need to become a yogi tasmat yogi bhav arjuna you become a yogi what type of yogi Why would Krishna Bhagwan tell Arjun on a battlefield to become a yogi? He doesn't imply that he wants him to go away from everything and into the jungle and just meditate all day. Krishna Bhagwan is a king, Arjun is a prince. This is a king telling a prince at the beginning of a war, you need to become a yogi. The type of yogi who understands and has a full connection to God in such a way that even when you fight a battle and if you have to kill thousands of people, you're completely connected to God, living in samadhi while doing these things. So if Krishna Bhagwan can inspire Arjun to become a yogi as a warrior these same words of the Gita if we imbibe them in our lives can inspire us as teachers as engineers as doctors to become yogis and that everything we do becomes a connected action to God connected with God becomes yog as we enter into the next section of the Shrimad Bhagavad Gita Krishna Bhagwan is going to start talking about karma yog Until now we've learned two aspects of gnana yog wisdom atmagnan and sankhya gnan and now we're going to learn about karma how to do action now quite often there has been a discussion amongst perhaps every religion on action or knowledge these two things they go against each other seemingly and there are different terms whether it's pravrutti nivrutti sanyas karmata whatever the different term might be for some reason these two factions never got along people who promoted karma action from the beginning in our vedic scriptures it always shows that people have a worshiped nature they've appreciated nature and by worshiping and appreciating and respecting nature they would worship the demigods that resided over us whether it be the sun the rain the wind the fire they appreciated what people what nature gave them and they also prayed that there were no other obstacles in their life and in that process people became very mechanical in their actions and whatever they did they got the results they received the fruits of those actions so over time eventually an entire group of people became set in the concept that all you need to do is continue to do your duty your action and that's fine there's no wisdom needed onto that but in response another group of people they got together they also had scriptural passage to support their beliefs scriptural passages such as rute gnana na muktihi without wisdom there's no liberation so those people always propagated wisdom knowledge they felt that if you acted that was a waste a waste of energy instead inaction took over in their lives so one group promoted action without knowledge another group promoted knowledge without action and these two have been arguing ever since the shrimad bhagavad gita says that these two things are inextricable for example there's a maxim in nyay darshan called andha pangu nyay one person is blind and one person is handicapped neither of them can work efficiently on their own however if they work together one person's body and one person's vision working together they can achieve anything they want in the same way karma has hands and legs it has action but it doesn't have vision gnan has vision but is no action when gnan when wisdom and karma action come together that's when you can actually attain that yog everything is connected to god karma yog the different couplets they span throughout the shrimad bhagavad gita but over the next two sessions we're going to study the different aspects of karma yog in a compilation form until then I hope that we can pray that we can imbibe this main concept of the Shrimad Bhagavad Gita yog into our personal lives and the way Krishna Bhagwan told Arjun tasmat yogi bhav arjuna 
वी कैन ऑल्सो बिकम योगीज अस्तु